Various administration has led to famine, hardship, and division in Nigeria. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo has said that poverty, hunger, poverty, and division were rampant under Boris' rule. Obasanjo said he had never seen the country in such a predicament now under Boris' rule, added that Nigeria was now the epicenter of global poverty, hunger, and destitution. He said it was due to nothing but the blind management of this administration. Obasanjo made the remarks at the meeting in Abuja, attended by major regional, zonal, and ethnic groups. Participants included Afeni Ferry, the Pure Yoruba Interest Group, and the Middle Belt Forum, the Central Nigerian Ethnic Protection Group. There is also the Northern Elders Forum, the Oanese Indigo Association, the Igbo National Liberation Front ETC, and the Niger Delta Forum. Why Obasanjo called for no more civil war or secession, the former president said if Nigeria was to survive, it must be defeated despite the crisis, causing division within the region, region by region or between one tribe and another. I am pleased that each of you is concerned about the situation in this country as we are. Today, Nigeria has failed in many areas with hunger. Economically, Nigeria has become the epicenter of global hunger, poverty, and misery. We continue to climb the ladder of corruption as the international community views us from afar as a country with no security and no sign of it. And it's not the fault of the government, it's the insanity of the government. Obasanjo has won those who dream of playing the civil war or seeking secession or secession from Nigeria. He lamented that Boko people, militants, insurgents, and kidnappers continue to wreak havoc in the country. Obasanjo also lamented the fact that debt was so abundant in Nigeria that even the search for a gun broke out. However, the chairman of Buari Media Organization, Ni Akisiju, lashed out at Obasanjo, saying it was not Buari's fault. It was the fault of some of the country's leader ethnic extremists. Akisiju said, Bubots, such as Obasanjo, were doing so because the government had failed to make their basic needs. He described the successes and efforts of the government of President Momo Buari after he found a country without nationalism to dominate its economy. Thank you for listening to this news. What is Akisiju talking about? I see it is very hard for Buari's um, it to tell the truth. I don't know. Is it because they are they, uh, they, 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 they are working under this administration? That's why they keep uh, um, defending President Moore worry. That is how um, um, Onoche, Loretta Onoche also did, saying all sorts of rubbish because he's working under the administration. Same goes to um, uh, um, this Igbo, Igbo leader, Joe Ibokwe. In fact, the, all of them, they, they just keep defending, defending President Mulberry when they know that he, that, that, that he is wrong in what he's doing. They are all blackmailers. They are all saboteurs. They are pretenders. You won't blame them when they already have everything on ground for themselves. They live in government quarters. They are they are they are they are feeding fee. They are they are they are, they are um, transportation and then and then an house allowance is being taken care of. They don't even know the cost of of pepper 
or rice in the market. They hardly go to the market. Everything is provided for them there in the, in the, in the, in the government quarters. That's why they have the mouth to be talking and saying all sorts of rubbish from their mouth. I won't blame them. They are, they are opportuned. They are opportunists. Abbas Injo, yes, I know that he has his own, his own problem, but he has spoken the truth. I said it before, that this is the only administration that has, that, that has given us the toughest, the toughest part. This is the only administration that has taught Nigerian and that has brought Nigerian into a very serious issue. That we have, that we are in debt. This administration is the highest. We have never incurred so much debt like this, like the debt this administration, administration has incurred. We have never experienced um, a, 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 a economic crisis so much than this than one this administration has brought us into. Mm. The, the, the high level of insecurity that we are, we are, we are today is as a result of, of, this, of what this administration has caused. We have, that we have a very high number of, of death rates is still as a result of this administration. What are we to talk about? This administration has caused a lot of harm to the, to the citizens. It's just remaining for Nigerians to go out there and start begging for hands like the Amajiris. Very soon, you see a car owner dress corporate and start begging. We are already we, we only have corporate beggars. You go outside there, you see them. They are much now because of what? Because of what the president has put us into. Because of what he has put us into, Nigeria is now in serious crisis. We are having food crisis now. Just of recent, Cameroon banned the, 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 the export of cereal, of cereal to, to Nigeria because of the high level of insecurity. They now believe that Boko people are now attacking their products, preventing them from carrying out a peaceful trade with Nigeria. I said this before, that very soon, this is going to affect our trade with other countries, other African and international countries, very soon. And now it has started. You can see it, it has started today. Very soon, you will hear other countries to deny uh, uh, and, 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 and refusing to trade with Nigeria on one product or the other because of this same insecurity issue. Insecurity issue can cause a lot of damage to the economy. It has already started. Our economy is already in recession. It's already in recession. So my viewers, enough is enough. Let us say no to this, to this, to this. All right? So please, what's your take on this news? What's your take? Please do well to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.